Due to a significant increase in strays, the Johnson County Animal Shelter has suspended the intake of new animals as they have become overcrowded. Wednesday, Mountaintop spoke with shelter manager Lisa Trusty Roberts about the importance of adoption and how you can help. Um, it, we are getting ready to go into spring and this happens every spring. We, we see an increase in intakes. Um, we have a lot of owner surrenders coming in. Um, but I, I do want to let people know part of the reason why um, we are overcrowded at the moment is that we have some dogs that are dog aggressive and we've had them for a while. Um, um, a lot of rescues, they're just simply not able to take dog aggressive dogs because they are, they're hard to place. And while adopting an aggressive dog is a responsibility, Robert says owners can take steps to help, such as going to a trainer and keeping them away from dog parks. We just we just work really hard to try to, to find homes for these babies because they're great dogs. I mean, uh, Gregory, Astro, Smokey Joe. Um, Smokey Joe, we took off of a chain. He had been on a chain uh, since he was a puppy. Um, I had other dogs there that just teased him uh, so bad. And he's a wonderful dog. He just he just can't be in a home really with other dogs. Um, but we are doing something that I've not had the volunteers or the manpower to do. I have a wonderful volunteer that is going to start keeping up our pet finder page. And that's going to be another avenue because we realize or I realize that not everyone does have Facebook. So this pet finder page, we're going to be putting all of our animals on. And that's going to be another avenue that people can go to and look at our animals and hopefully adopt. And we actually do have a pending adoption right now. Uh, Red, who's been with us since August. So hopefully Red will be going home to his new home very soon. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Another way people can help is by fostering as well. It's the same process as adopting as far as an application, uh, same process as vetting a home for fostering. And if people would um, open their hearts to fostering an animal, that would open up a kennel for another animal in need to come in. And that would also help us um, be able to see what a behavior or personality of a dog would be. Because you can have an animal here in a, a kennel, um, uh, but their personality would be completely different in a home, obviously. Um, and that would help us match them to a, a home, a family. Uh, for adoption. If you would like to adopt or donate, you can contact the shelter at wowanimalshelter at gmail.com. You can also reach the shelter at 606-297-7387 or pets. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Horchel.